You're watching Weekend at Gabe's and I'm Weekend Gabe. This latest episode was brought to you by the good folks over at the Ghetto Flower. Use our code WATG for an exclusive 15% discount when visiting their site. Tell them I sent you. Now enjoy the show. Yo, broadcasting live to you and yours. This weekend game home you down on this day, night, July 14, 2022. I can't believe that we're almost through July. I haven't even been in Great America. Yet. I am not living right. I'm glad you guys are in with us. We've got a big, big show. The return of Thursday Thunny, uh, LA based Tribble joining us. It's been about a year since you checked in with us. We're going to see what she's going on, what's going on with her. And then we also have Chicago's own Jay Wood. A new single dropping next week. Preview that and also get into a little bit of his backstory. A lot to get into tonight on tonight's show. To follow on these socials at Weekend Game, at Weekend at Game Frame, and at the Ghetto Flower. And speaking of the real scene, broadcasting from an undisclosed location once again. How are you, sir? <laughs> I'm doing all right. If I can get my sound effects to work correctly, I'm doing just fine. You see me here with a branded T-shirt on. We're doing, we're doing good, Weekend Gabe, you know, uh, and it'll be hard to top Tuesday night's show. Uh, yeah. We're going to try today. <laughs> uh, we're going to try today. We're probably not going to go a whole half hour overtime. That seems like too much, but uh, we are going to try today. <laughs> uh, huge shout out to Tim Barnes. He left the most wonderful tweet for us online about how great the show is and express how much that means to me. And and all the hard work we put into the show to see gratitude. So, uh, salute to Tim Bar. Hard to go see more. Uh, go watch Maurice on Mars in a hot second. It's the thing to do. Uh, but yeah, man, Thursday. I am looking forward to this weekend. Uh, I'm probably going to see Thor. Uh, have uh, I'm supposed to go to? Uh, if you have any shots, head o- head over to our YouTube channel right now. But because I'm going to be doing music shots on. On Saturday, just without the music, it's just going to be vodka shots. So I get to follow <laughs> that uh, pre- that performance up with my own. All, all the track. tracks that you like, you're just throwing them back. You know? <laughs> like, man, somebody never made this playlist. is doing a great job. You know, I, I need to bring just these headphones, and everyone can just have their own private party going on. Uh, just a headphone party yeah, yeah, and doing that. Be, yeah, yeah. I need a. I need a. I need to, I need to try that out because I think that'd be dope. But yeah, vodka party. Everyone's going to bring their own vodka, uh, whatever it is, their mixes, and everyone's just so. I'm all for it. I would say, you know, thanks for the invite in sort of a passive aggressive way. uh, Glad that you did not invite me to your vodka festivities. Uh, I'm not hosting. I'm a guest. You Listen, and both I'm the, of the Russian people you know have a great time at that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a guest, so it's, it's rude to be a guest. But uh, listen, if I ever we're, we're, we're doing the fast night in a couple weeks, and we can take shots uh, in two weeks. So don't worry about no, it. no, I don't All want right. to. <laughs> well, all right. Well, then I could do vodka shots uh, in two weeks. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be show tonight. Triple J, both wonderful guests, and uh, so we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight but we're gonna get into news a lot to cover a lot going down so let's jump Ladies into it and gentlemen you don't give a shit about the news i know you don't because you don't care you don't even follow cnn on twitter there is one man who stays up to date with the trending topics, so you don't have to his name is weekend gabe and that's why it's news that only weekend gabe cares Bye. all right News brought to you by the Ghetto Flower. Head over to the Ghetto and use our coupon code WADG for 15% off on our purchases of $50 or more here on Weekend at Games. All right, Fantastic Four. Listen, we're all about it. We finally got a sneak peek of it in the Doctor Strange film with the return of Patrick Stewart as Professor X. A lot of rumors swirling around what the next MCU is going to be like. But the big story is Sam wasn't really impressed by this because I didn't hear about it. But the news is that Steven Spielberg approached about doing the Fantastic Four series. Before we get into whether it's rumor or actual news, uh, what are your thoughts? Do we need Spurg in the MCU? No, I don't think so. I don't think he has enough uh, frivolity. You know, like the Spielberg movies are so serious. 
you know, uh, outside of uh, the exception being like Super 8, which I thought was like kind of cool. Um, and sort of Stranger Things took Super 8 and made it a whole Netflix show. Um, yeah. So there's that. But uh, no, I'm I'm not interested in seeing, you know, I don't want to see Christopher Nolan do any MCU movies. Like, <laughs> I, don't I don't care, you know, like, you know, these spectacular directors uh let's let's leave it to somebody like taika waititi who can leave you laughing you know like um yeah we don't it, steven spielberg to me as a director is more of a novelist you know what i'm saying Word. uh and we are making comic books so we don't need novelists we need comic yeah. book writers you get what i'm saying yeah uh, i i'm intrigued by the idea of the Mar martin scorsese oak and i'm pretty sure he curses yeah, don't want martin scorsese doing that <laughs> more scenes of de-aged robert de niro please <laughs> you know, you know. ADO, ADO de niro stomping someone out okay believable love it <laughs> uh but yeah like no the, so the rumor was yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the rumor was that um that had uh been approached to do the mcu film but then also it came out that he also from Variety Senior Entertainment, uh, Adam Vary confirmed are also false, meaning that Spielberg hadn't talked, actually denied Marvel just yet. So actually none of this has happened. Uh, I think it's intriguing to see someone like Spielberg who loves to make children's films or films that uh, make children smile. So I'm, I'm sort of intriguing at the idea but also, we were talking pre-production meeting that the acquisitions that Disney has from Century and Fox, that these films are, are like five years away. It's already in its 70s. Oh, no, no, so. no, 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 You're wrong about that. These The, the Fantastic Four movie is around the corner. It is, you, you know, less you're than three years away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, that's still... That's, that acquisition has already been made, but the big bombshell that dropped last night was that they're bringing mutants, and they will still need to acquire the X-Men to do those movies, that will probably take five years. But the Fantastic Four right. movie is definitely around the corner, definitely already acquired, definitely all that other stuff. Um, and it's it's slated for release, I believe, in 2023 or 2024. All right. Well, I mean, that still puts me in its 80s. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, speaking of other people, I don't want to do uh, any more movies. David Cameron, stop it. I don't care. <laughs> Stop it. You hear me? No more avatars. I don't need them. You Please said, put them back in James, your pockets. You James, yeah. <laughs> you call him James David. Cameron. David Cameron. <laughs> David Cameron is the former prime minister of the UK. I'm sorry. I ah. guys. <laughs> That's even more funny. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, James yes. Cameron. Oh, All yeah. the Camerons. Honestly, every Cameron. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's move on. Let's stay in space for just a moment. The James Webb Telescope this week made a lot of news when it revealed these wonderful images millions of light years away. Uh, we finally get a peek into the universe and things beyond uh, that we could see. All what do you that beauty think and about I still this, man? Got to pay for health care. What is going on, bro? Man, yeah, uh, I, I love it, man. I mean. This this is all cool or whatever, but you know, people are kind of gushing about this on Twitter. And I'm like, I know you guys have a fucking nine to five at Wendy's that you have to clock back into. So stop, stop. <laughs> Make my burger. This one, <laughs> this is the one that really trips me out. Cause it kind of feels like it could be like an artistic drawing, but this is the real, this is fantastic. Uh, yeah, I was, I was looking up an article and they're saying this was a result of 25 years of work by thousands of scientists, engineers, yeah. and administrators belonging to an international collaboration of space agencies, man. This is pretty phenomenal, man, to, to see this. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty uh, cool. I don't know if you saw some of the behind-the-scenes photos of them, like, trying to organize layers of tinfoil in, like, a very large airplane hangar. Uh, but it's pretty interesting to see them, like, put it all together. So, uh, yeah, no, very cool. I'm hoping we get more uh, cool stuff. Uh, admittedly, uh, whatever's going on out there uh, does not affect my bottom line. So that's <laughs> that's how I feel. No. I still have to go to work in the morning, whether James Webb takes a picture of the universe or not. 
and that is upsetting. Listen, the one reason why I'm really excited about it is because it gives me a lot of hope that the aliens, we will contact them and then war with them, and that's going to rally this nation you together. Want or alien we're going to war? That's, I, what you're, that's what you're hoping for. That's your best case scenario here. I want, it. I want like, the war what? with the aliens, yes. I mean, they could be cool we're too. They fucking lose. <laughs> I, I just watched Independence Day back. Also, but no, it does dear not. Dear Lord, man, you know, uh, we would totally get fucked up. War of the World style, dude. Like, no, nah, no. Nah, what if we're alien though, and, and then they're in fear of us, and we land, and that they're still living in the dark ages of technology, Listen, and we if they if they are scared of us, then. <laughs> came to them, not the other way around. If they somehow make it to Earth and then they're just dumb, that don't make no sense, bro. They already made it to Earth, bro. That's the biggest hurdle. Like, right? They have the technology to to, to blast through space. Yeah, we're, yeah we're getting like, washed, but, but when they get here, they're just like <laughs> clicking some rocks together and like, oh fuck, we might make fire soon, you know? Like, no, this is, those two things can't both happen at the same time. That's impossible. <laughs> Could you imagine aliens cruising in their spaceships, our little telescope that we're all excited about? Like, oh, look at that. They finally reached us. <laughs> that yeah, that's the, that's the crazy, crazy part about light years, right? Is like uh, if an alien really was on the other side of the galaxy looking back, they'd be looking at like Hiroshima or like something like that, you know, from, from years and years ago, <laughs> like happening. So, like, it'll be another, like, several lifetimes before these people notice, like, oh, fuck, look at that big telescope. Hey, look. <laughs> They're looking right be, back. It, and by then, we'll have big, flying cars. And Elon it, it, Musk will have two more daughters by his, uh, uh, his daughter that he shit, has right there we, now. <laughs> there we go. This is where we transition into the next story. <laughs> but shout out to NASA, shout out to space. All right, shout out to Hip Hop Keepers really quick. This week, at you didn't need this, uh, Funk That's a graphic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and uh, Conway the Machine got into award of war awards about gatekeepers in hip hop. You're younger than me. He, there was a time when gatekeepers actually existed, where people signed, people couldn't get played. Obviously, we live in a more open society where music can be uploaded to just about anywhere and heard. As a younger person on this show, are there gatekeepers matter? Um, yeah, there's gatekeepers and everything, you know what I mean? There's, there's gatekeepers at PepsiCo, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you know, what, what do you want? Somebody is keeping that gate. I think the thing is, you know, back in the day, it meant more because everybody was funneled into these specific things. You know, you want a label deal, you got to go with Sony or RCA or whatever it is. Right. Uh, so you have to go there. So there's a direct funnel into maybe six gates and all of them are gate kept. And that obviously means a lot more, but these days with, you know, the independent route, um, you know, the, the ability to get playlisting sync placements. We talked with Jay Nolan the other week. Uh, there are more gates, but that is not to say that there aren't gatekeepers at those gates as well. I think there are more gates, more gatekeepers. So no, it doesn't mean what it used to. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. There are still gatekeepers, you know, people make, dope stuff and then can't get onto a playlist because somebody won't let them onto their playlist. That's gatekeeping. You know what I mean? Uh, Valid point. So, yeah. Yes, it exists. Uh, definitely still exists. Definitely is like a trend of the, the industry. Um, but it might not matter quite as much as it used to. And usually, you know, most of the gatekeepers these days get called out for being lames in the first place. So. Which is what happened here with Funkmaster Flex, a 55-year-old DJ who has not relinquished his role as uh, one of the, the big voices of what is up. So that was kind of in the machine's <laughs> the, argument. The big voices of whackness. You know? Yeah, like, that, that, that was Funkmaster his point. Funkmaster Flex is a joke. <laughs> I, I am not checking for Funkmaster Flex, and I have time. No, I, I, yeah, I gotta be I, honest. And I don't know if this is a this is a props to DJ Academics or a negative to Funkmaster Flex, but Funkmaster Flex, DJ Academics, they are on the exact same tier and Funkmaster Flex has been doing this for far longer. Uh so yeah, I don't respect exactly. either of those two individuals. No. All right. Well, shout out to uh gatekeepers who keep getting checks, you know. Someone has to do it. 
Somewhere All right, that's our uh, <laughs> news that came on about on this July 14, 2020. Oh, man. Thank you for watching the latest episode of Weekend at Games on YouTube brought to you by the Ghetto Flower. Make sure to also click on the links in the description for more information to our guests and access to exclusive new music from the Ghetto Flower and so much more. Make sure to also like and subscribe to the show and also continue to share support and show love by clicking on any of the links surrounding my head. Thanks for watching.